Now on poverty and corruption, let me say I welcome President Jonathan's New Year statement in which he pledged to tackle corruption, as well as the announcement during my visit here that the government is launching an independent investigation into allegations of massive corruption within the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation. From a human rights perspective, widespread corruption is extremely damaging. It undermines the rule of law. It perverts the systems that are designed to protect the rights of the people and provide justice. It exacerbates economic inequalities and fuels poverty and accompanying frustrations and resentment. It diverts resources from much needed social services, including education and health care. Its corrosive impact is felt most acutely by those least equipped to deal with it, namely the poorest and most marginalized members of society. So I am urging everyone in Nigeria to pull together and push each other to tackle this scourge which is holding back the development of the country and undermining many people's social and economic rights. Nigeria is a wealthy nation with immensely lucrative oil reserves, yet 62% of the population is living below the poverty line. Poverty and socioeconomic disparities are also among the root causes, not just of the original emergence of Boko Haram, but also of the outbreaks of violence between pastoralists and farmers in the Middle Belt and the rise in violent crime and law lawlessness in the Northwest and other areas of the country. I hope the recent announcements mark the start of a serious effort to confront corruption head on at all levels, federal, state and local. There are few greater gifts any government can bestow on subsequent generations than a society that is largely free of the shackles of corruption.